why do uh, reactions occur when plasma is administered to foals that have received mi milk replacers? So sadly, um, I know all about this from experience. Um, you, um, so just for those of you who are sort of um, not familiar with plasma administration, things like that, you might wonder why, why are you giving all these false plasma anyway? Um, so, so one of the, the main reasons is failure passive transfer, obviously, if the mayor didn't have good enough colostrum. Um, but the vast majority of these, we are giving hyperimmunized plasma to, um, to some of these foals just to give them an extra bo antibody boost when they um, are neonates and just protection against common you know, neonatal um, issues like rotavirus, rotococcus, clostridium, salmonella, um, you name it, we've got a plasma for it, that's for sure. Um, and then it just helps in GI disease, septic foals, and, um, and also we use it kind of in a maladjusted foal treatment like this little nugget here was um, being treated for. So, um, so uh, why give milk replacer? Um, so um, I'll let Dr. Haywood in a few um, segments from now kind of explain this more, but if the mare is NI positive, it just means a foal can't drink the colostrum because um, it has antibodies in it that will destroy the foal's red blood cells, and so you have to keep them muzzled and give them something else to eat while she, um, while she, you're milking that colostrum out of her. And maybe it's just a maiden mare with insufficient production or delayed meltdown, um, and, and you just need to keep calories on board that foal while you, um, while you're waiting for her to kind of come into her, her milk a little bit. So. Um, Plasma transfusion reactions, as a general rule, extremely um, infrequent, but you have that possibility with any blood product. And so it can range from just kind of mild, you know, increase in heart rate and respiratory rate, or maybe little GI signs, like they get a little bit colicky, or they can have full-blown anaphylaxis and die on you, unfortunately. So, um, so we sort of noticing, uh, started noticing about 10 years ago that for some reason, um, NI, foals of NI-positive mares were having these reactions. And so there's nothing innately different about the immune system of um, these foals. They, um, but we noticed, you know, these, it's the foals that have been muzzled and with the NI-positive mares are the ones that were trying to die on us when we gave them plasma. And so we, we had to sort of figure out what was going on there. Um, and so, so we sort of figured out the common link was um, prior milk replacer administration. And so um, the, there's my trusty technician, Morgan, um, doing what she does best, running plasma to foals. Um, but we kind of talked to the plasma manufacturers who we have great faith in, we have a great relationship um, with our, our plasma companies, and we kind of together sort of figured out what was going on um, here. And it is because the, um, the protein in the milk replacer is bovine in origin, okay? So, so it's coming from, from cow's milk. Um, and the problem with that is that the plasma um, from our donors contain anti-bovine antibodies, as it should, because they're equine and, and, you know, and bovine is a different species. So they contain these anti-bovine antibodies. And so these, um, these anti antibodies that kind of react with the bovine protein um, in the milk replacer, you know, you're giving this huge dose of antibody at one time, and they form these immune complexes which activate neutrophils and the neutrophil degranulation, more information than you want, but that, um, that causes these anaphylactic adverse reactions. And so, and I'm not taking anything away from any milk. Milk replacer is definitely still a, a very needed um, component to a lot of um, organizations. We just want to kind of warn you, um, you know, not to, uh, to do this um, in conjunction with plasma. Um, so how can we avoid this? Um, you can give the plasma before you give any milk replacer, and that may mean doing it in the middle of the night, um, just before you know you start um, doing your milk replacer. You know, once you as you're giving your colostrum, but um, this slows the rate at which the antibodies kind of cross react, just because they cross um, from the stomach into the bloodstream slower. But if you're giving them this huge dose of antibody at once, um, their immune system just can't handle it. Um, but you can also avoid the problem completely by using a another mare's milk or saved mare's milk um, or goat's milk, actually. 
Um, so, so goat's milk is extremely well tolerated by foals. Um, they actually seem to prefer it to the milk replacer. Um, that's for sure. They take it out of a bottle much better. Um, you dilute it one to one um, with water to kind of avoid constipation because that's the one thing I found that it actually actually will do a little bit. But if you dilute it, it actually does pretty well. Um, and it's more osmotically similar to to mare's milk than the the milk replacer is. And this is my little nugget, my youngest mini-me, um, a couple years ago with, uh, with her friend, a goat. Um, and, and so people ask me a lot, why are there no reactions with goat's milk? You know, it's also a foreign protein to the equine immune system. Why are we not having reactions with goat's milk? And I can tell from experience, we definitely don't have the reactions with goat's milk. I've, we've done hundreds of them, and, and they've been just fine. But um, even though the physiology is not completely understood, but we think it has something to do with the different composition of the caseins, the proteins in the different milks. Um, and it, like the bovine caseins are definitely, the composition is thought to be more allergenic, and they find this in humans as well, that, uh, that cow's milk is more allergenic than goat's milk. Um, but also just I sort of have thought myself, just as a hypothesis, I think maybe has something to do with the processing of those proteins, you know, making it into the milk replacer powder um, as well, kind of making it more, more antigenic. So, um, so um, conclusions, um, so just don't give plasma following administration of any milk replacer product. Um, and give the plasma first, or you can just use, like I said, mare's milk or goat's milk. And there's one of my favorite pictures of a um, foal getting plasma. He's not sedated, he's just sleeping. So um, at any rate, um, and that's it, I think. Thanks, Dr. Metcalf.